Hey guys, it's Drea. So hopefully this will be going up as my last video before Christmas. I hope that those of you that celebrate Christmas are going to have a wonderful, happy holiday with your family and friends and whoever you celebrate with. Um, I love Christmas and I love sharing the joy of the season. And if you celebrate some other holiday, whatever it may be, I just hope that you're surrounded by love during this time as well. Thank you to all of you that have supported me throughout this year. I think it's been a really good year on my channel. Um, so many changes for me obviously and i hope that your year has been just as good um this is the all i want for christmas tag and this was created by eye candy by i think it's ria and she is uh, adorable like i love this girl already she's so cute you have to go over and watch her video you have to go watch her channel it's all gonna be listed down in the description bar i first saw this video on lauren may beauty's channel and then i went and checked it out and i was like i have to do this tag it's just about like fun it's like a fun wish list video about what you want for christmas so it's a really easy kind of you know how much i love talking about makeup it's just an easy way to talk about makeup basically the tag here from looking in her details it says if you could have any makeup beauty fashion and one random item for christmas you have no limit on a budget what would you want so there's not necessarily questions it's just basically what do you want for christmas now i could sit here and read you 25 things off my sephora loves list but what i'm going to do is approach this in a way of like things that i could potentially be actually getting for christmas you know everybody could actually ask for a thousand things but let's uh, let's just keep it to what i actually really have actually asked for for christmas so number one my most wanted thing for christmas is the anastasia sultry palette um you may look at this palette and think eh, it's kind of boring but really i've swatched it i first saw it on emily noel's channel and i saw her swatches and i died and i was like i need this palette <laughs> like it is pretty basic but the metallics are just so beautiful and sometimes you just want one of those basic neutral but still have a ba bam quality to them and i need this palette in my life so that was like number one on my wish list to my husband another palette that i really want is the huda beauty new nudes palette i think it looks beautiful i have swatched a couple shades in the store and that one pink on the top row blew my mind and the only reason i didn't pick it up at that point was because of the price tag it is a very pricey palette um, and I was buying so much stuff that I, I was trying to be good so I have asked for it I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not if I don't it won't be the end of the world it is definitely a want not a need but it looks super beautiful something that I know if I don't get for Christmas I will be by myself because I died over this it's the new Tarte Pro Glow blush palette it is so pretty Ready. So I use my Pro Glow contour palette a lot. I love the cream contour in it. The, the highlighters are really nice. This palette in particular has four blushes, one contour, and one highlight, I believe. But the reason I want it is because the blush swatches all look like something I would actually wear. So you know sometimes you get a blush palette and there might be like three out of six that you know are actually your own wearable shades. But this one, I love every shade in this blush palette. I think it looks so pretty and i love the packaging too so i really want that um the smoke se smoke sessions palette from melt this is something that i kind of hemmed and hawed over and then it sold out and now i kind of want it but i keep thinking about my natasha denona green brown palette and how i pretty much already have similar shades if not dupes and but i still kind of want it like deep in my heart i still kind of want it um the greens just look so beautiful and i've seen it swatched on a lot of people's channels and it looks so gorgeous okay another thing that i actually talked myself out of buying during the vip sale was this gift set from it cosmetics it's all like some of their best-selling skincare and it's got like the secret sauce in it i think it's got like a tonic it's got like five things it's got an eye cream i love i love me an eye cream and um i it's still a lot of money it's still a lot of money so i didn't buy it even with the 20 percent off i kind of want it still so that would be on my wish list too i've really been interested in trying it cosmetic skincare if you have any thoughts on it if you've tried it if it's like holy grail to you or if it's not worth it please let me know in the comments because whether or not i get this i'm still very interested in dipping my toe into some it cosmetic skincare um next thing is i just saw this yesterday so i didn't even put this on a wish list for anybody not that i think anybody really would spend this much on me 
<laughs> but I just saw it on Instagram on Sephora Canada's Instagram. It's the GHD Platinum Professional One Inch Styler. And it's one of those straightening irons that is curved in such a way that you can actually twist it and get you those amazing curls with a straightener very easily because it's really when once you press it down together it's pretty much just round and i didn't even know this existed until yesterday so um this is probably going to be one of those items that is on a long-term wish list that hopefully i can save up for and and get at some point because it looks like it would be so handy i i really love curling my hair i love the way my hair looks the most when it's curled but it does take a long time and i think something like that would really helped me out a lot this is something that i actually just looked at in store one day and i became obsessed with it and i don't know why i just need to try this this is the dr jart ceramidin liquid it's basically a liquid um serum so it's a moisturizing serum now it does say on the description that it is really for people who have really dry skin and i don't i have very oily skin um, but then when I was reading like comments and reviews, a lot of oily skin people say that it works really well for them too. So I don't know, like I really just kind of want to try it. It's one of those skincare like obsessions now that's kind of taken over my brain. I, I really need to try this serum. It looks so great. Two more makeup items. One is the Fenty Fly Liner. I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. It is you know, it's more pricey than drugstore. And you know how much I love my physician's formula and I love a brush tip eyeliner. Um, but I don't know with some, when you have something in this drugstore that's so good, even if you want to try something high end, sometimes it's just kind of like, why, you know, like why would I want to pay double or triple the price when I have this thing that works so well? And like, what's the point? So it's one of those things where I do, I've been wanting to try the Fenty Fly Liner for so long. I, I think it would probably be a really good dupe for like a Kat Von D, which I wouldn't use anymore. Um, but I just, I, I haven't like pulled the trigger because of the price. So to put it on a wish list, I think is kind of like saying, hey, hey, if you want to buy this for me so I can try it out, that'd be great. And last makeup item is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Now this has been out for a long time. Um, the reason I didn't get it originally was A, I kind of didn't want to give in to the hype. You know, there was a lot of drama around it. There was a lot of hype around it. Um, B, it wasn't really easily accessible at the time for me because I would have had to order it off of the Morphe website and pay like shipping and dues to Canada. But now Sephora Canada carries Morphe, um, not everything, but quite a few items and the Jacqueline Hill palette is available. So I've been kind of eyeing it for a while, kind of thinking, is it something I should get? I did get one of the vault palettes. So just one, um, when I was traveling in the States and I've only used it once so far. I need to experiment with a lot of things that I purchased because I bought so much but um, I really liked it the one time I used it so it's kind of making me think maybe I would really like the original Jacqueline palette also in this tag um, Rhea said to kind of list some fashion items that you would want to ask for and for me if you saw my Instagram stories when I unpacked my clothes I had already gotten rid of half of my clothes before I moved half and the amount of stuff that I have here can barely fit in the closets that I have. And I have quite a few closets here. Um, like I have like a big storage system, closet Ikea type cabinet system in my room and it's full. And I have three of them. My husband only has one, like, you know, it's all my stuff. So I don't need a lot of clothes. That being said, um, I do love me some Lululemon and I haven't been buying it in a long time. I just recently bought two jackets, one of the Define jackets and one of the Radiant jackets and I love them both. So I would like another Define jacket, I think. Um, and besides that, I always love pink stuff. I'm just such a basic girl when it comes to fashion. I love Lululemon, I love pink. Um, so I love some like big oversized pink sweatshirts. I would love that for Christmas. Not putting any jeans on my wish list because A, I have way too many, and two, I can no longer wear American Eagle jeans when I go to work because I have accepted a new position at another company where I won't be able to wear them. And so I don't need me any more jeans. That being said, I'm not getting rid of any of them because I love them to death, but don't need any more. So I don't really need a lot of clothing. I do 
love boots <laughs> love, like little booties so if anything i've had on my wish list uh this pair of fergie fergalicious i don't even like i know it's her brand but I've never bought anything because it's her. But anyways, these boots I've had on my list for like six months and they're so cool. I'll try to put a picture here because I can't remember what they're called. Anyways, that's probably it for um, like fashion wise. And then the last thing was to say one random item. Um, for one thing, I need a blow dryer and my parents did buy me one and I've started using it already. They shipped it to me. Um, so I had no blow dryer for like a month and a half. Um, so I'm so happy I finally have a blow dryer. If the last thing, if I could wish for, I really want a sectional sofa. We got rid of our sectional when we moved and it was super comfy, but it was kind of old. So we decided not to take it with us. Um, and I just, I would like a sectional sofa for my living room because I feel like the ones we have now, we have two coaches there are enough room for us four people but you know when you kind of like to spread out a little bit more you like to put your legs up and that kind of thing i'd really like a really comfy sectional sofa so hopefully once i've been working for a couple months um, that's on my wish list to buy for myself all right that is it for the all i want for christmas tag please go check out ria's channel like i said she's adorable and again i hope that you guys have a wonderful holiday season merry christmas to those of you that celebrate it um it's so different for us this year because we don't have any family really near us although people will be coming to visit us after christmas but we have to kind of figure out what to do on christmas day because it's not our usual thing um so i'll be hanging out on social media a little bit on christmas day if you want to come say hello but i think we might even go to the movies <laughs> i'm gonna make a little miniature christmas dinner at home too um i love you guys thank you so much for all your support this year and i hope that you're speaking kindly to yourself especially when you look in the mirror please enjoy christmas and don't feel bad about eating a whole bunch of treats that can come later enjoy yourself this time of year all right i will see you guys in my next video Bye.